Libby here. I'm going to do a Halloween house tour today or a tour of our house decorated for Halloween. As you can see it's not a very nice day so hopefully it's not too gloomy inside. At the front we've got one hour broom parking. Violators will be towed with the broom parking spot and the bike because I guess you couldn't ride to school today. Got some blood spears, some puppies in the window. <laughs> Little trick or treat sign that we made a few years back. Now we go into the house. <laughs> and we have our witch, which does a cackle and the loud noise of a dog's bark. Or you clap your hands. Got some um, these stickers that cling things that Kevin brought back from the States. And big spiders web up there, which we've had for a few years now. And this is the entry. We have a few bits and pieces. A little witch's hat hanging up there and all those little clings. And a, a decoration from a few years back from when we went to Mickey's Halloween party. A little sign, keep calm and cut, carry garlic. We go this way into the bathroom. Watch it come on in a second. We've got some little pumpkins there. And some little ghosties over here. Moving into the, the lounge room. This is probably where we have most of our decorations. Got these gorgeous flowers that I bought yesterday, aren't they beautiful? They just spoke Halloween to me. And the little, um, their party light candles that I've had for a number of years now. Over here, I've got a few things. We did have like licorice, but <laughs> as you can see it's been eaten. This is a cute little pumpkin thing that Kevin bought me from America, but it's still got, as you can see, the American plug. We need to get that adapted. And I'll just put some paper, um, paper around that candle, as you can see. And on the TV, I've just got a few little pumpkins scattered around. And up the top, this new trick or treat banner that I bought online. And this is probably one of my little favourite little areas up here with another one of these light pumpkin things that Kevin bought. They might be an aroma milk actually. I think they may put something in the top. Oh, I don't know. But they do have a plug and a light in them. And then I just put some little um, autumn leaves in this and just a candle. It's really nice at night when it's lit up. Some more of those beautiful roses. I'm not really a roses girl, but they were just gorgeous. And then into the kitchen, right till we focus, there we go. My desk, it's got a few little things here. My favourite Halloween plate that I got, oh, many years ago now. Isn't it lovely? It's um, a wedge wood sign, they go 92, I got this. And it talks about Halloween. Oh. I think it's just lovely. Let me sell the details in it because it's all hand. And anyway, it's one of my favourite things that I've had it a long time, nearly 20 years now. Took a little ghosty and a little pumpkin. And this is a little, um, I don't even know where I got that from a little calendar printout, which I thought was quite cute to put on my desk. So we've got our usual Halloween table setting from Pottery Barn that Kevin picked up a few years back. Certainly good having him go to a conference in September or October every year. And then I put some little um, ball things in the bottom of that one. And one of our back clings. The girls actually decorated. I've moved a few things around. Yesterday it was 34 degrees outside and we're in the pool. That's why the towels are there today. It's about 18 and wet and cold. Another little pumpkin over here. I've had this guy for a few years. He actually put, he's made of wax. He's from, um, Oh, that main can the big candle shop that we have in Australia, the candle franchise. I don't usually buy much there now, but a friend bought this for me a few years back. And yeah, I just put a votive in there in a jar. And that's really good. And over here in the kitchen, it's got a little few little things. And eat, drink, and be scary, which I think is very appropriate in the kitchen. My little boo with a little spidey there. Love that too. It's everything in the kitchen, and then the kids have got a little bit of decorating over here as well. Look better until the birds moved in. <laughs> the birds had to move here with a new couch. So we've got Winnie the Pooh, 
thing with some very yummy looking lollies. Oh. I don't want to eat, eat them. Little scarecrow bought for me by Annie. He's looking after the remote controls this year. Home of a very old guinea pig. And over here we've just got some more of those clings. They're really fun. I think Kevin wishes he got more of them. And a little witch that was given again to by a friend. And I think just in the scrapbook room, there's not much in here. The girls just put up. I took down my beautiful bunting that I love and put up this little Halloween bunting that was also from Annie when she came over. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the little Halloween tour. Um, for our party we've got some big inflatable blow up things that Kevin brought back from the States this year so that they'll go at the front and I'll, I won't sure I show you those to you at a later time. Okay, hope you all have a fun Halloween this weekend. Bye.